Okay, this podcast is kind of a, a basically a general introduction to Lewis acids and bases. This is not something that we normally use in general chemistry in detail. It's basically introducing these concepts to you. Uh, it's a lot more common in organic chemistry that we use this definition of Lewis acids and bases. Um, and again, as a reminder, general chemistry is a is basically introducing you to a broad set of concepts in chemistry. And here we're just going to kind of introduce what Lewis acids and bases are. If you plan to take organic chemistry, then it becomes a lot more common to use this definition. So Lewis acids and Lewis bases is, is even a the most general definition of what an acid and base is. As a reminder, Arrhenius acids are acids according to Arrhenius were acids that made H ions and Arrhenius bases made OH ions which works pretty well with most acids and bases but when you have NH3 it doesn't work the definition doesn't work for that so Bornstein and Lurie made a definition to encompass that and they have that whole conjugate base pair to basically take into account for those acids and bases that don't necessarily easily have H's and OH's in it. Okay, here we have a Lewis acid and base, and basically it helps define a compound that is basically synthesis reactions. Bornstein and Lurie, if you have a compound A which has acidic properties, and you have a compound B that has basic properties, and you they react to form a new compound C. Where in the Bornstein Lurie definition do you label a conjugate acid and conjugate base? There's only one product. So there's the Bornstein Lurie definition doesn't quite fit this model of an acid and base, even though we know that there are acids and bases that form these type of synthesis reactions. So the definition of Lewis acids and bases is to basically not only define all the previous ones, but also take into account synthesis reactions. So in the general definition, a Lewis acid are electron pair receptors and a Lewis base are electron pair donors. That is the most basic sense of what it is. And we're really looking at now at electrons around atoms um, versus the protons being transferred in the bronstein lorry definition. So the way I kind of remember it, and I'm sure you may have your own way, but I remember it is for Lewis acids, LA, I just put LAA. Elect, um, Lewis acids are receptors, and then for Lewis bases, LBD. Lewis bases are electron pair donors. Whatever works for you works. That's just giving you a suggestion on how to remember the definition of a Lewis acid and Lewis base. So let's take a look at, at an example here, and this is a very common example found in many chemistry textbooks. It is when we're reacting this compound, whoops. BF3, oh, I got all crazy. BF3 plus ammonia NH3, uh, NH3, and it forms basically a synthesis compound, an uber compound. BF3 NH3. Okay, so how do you apply this to be the bronstein lorry definition. There's no way you can assign a conjugate acid or a conjugate base to this because there's only one product. So this is where Lewis acids and bases come into play. And really you're only defining the reactants. You're, there's really no titles for the products. We're just saying that one of these is going to be an acid and one of these is going to be a Lewis base and that's kind of just about it. You don't have to worry about labeling a product in, in basically the Lewis model. So a Lewis acid are electron pair acceptors. This boron here only has six electrons surrounding it. Do not forget the octet rule that every element is trying to achieve a stable octet. So it can still accept two more electrons to form its octet. Nitrogen here has, well it's got six electrons but they're being shared between the hydrogens but it's got this basically un, um, paired electrons that are around here that it can actually can share with other elements. So basically what's going to happen is whoops, nitrogen is going to share those two electrons with the boron and they're going to form a bond. So that's basically what's going to happen in a nutshell. 
So boron trifluoride wants more electrons. The electrons will now transfer to the boron, and then we're going to make now an uber compound. And it forms this synthesis reaction, or now BF3 and H3. And by definition, the BF3 is a Lewis acid because it accepted electrons, and the NH3 donated its electrons, and it's considered a Lewis base. So this is just a very general definition of what a Lewis acid base is. We're looking at these basically synthesis reactions and the transfer of electrons between one compound and another and just assigning a Lewis acid and a Lewis base to each one.